Okay, we'll try and get an update for y'all uh, Monday morning at 720. I don't understand these guys that get so verbally abusive. If you want out that bad, just get out. I mean, I get that. out. You don't have to tear another person down. It's true. Life is short. Why be miserable? Mm-hmm. Have any of you guys ever, has anybody in this room ever dated somebody that was verbally abusive? Or somebody that was just a hothead like that? No. Mm-mm. Well, thank God. I Maybe. mean, I'd fire back. They are. Come, uh, come oh, at oh, me, bro. I know bro. you would. Yep. Oh, you, yeah. you, you shoot a BB gun at Kevin, he's been pulling out a bazooka. <laughs> <laughs> you start this, I'll finish it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just glad she's getting out of it. As a parent, though, that's like your fear, is it? You know, yeah, I can only imagine. We've, we've all got, we've all got you girls, make, you and me. You want to make sure they're strong and they don't, you don't. Have this happen to him? Yeah. If somebody talked to my little girl that way, oh my god, we'd have we'd have more than words. You know, I know people talk tough, but I mean, if that's your flesh and blood, that's your child, and they're being oh. treated like that, oh man. Hope she doesn't date like an MMA guy or something, Ryan. Well, then I'll hire somebody to beat him up. <laughs> I'll hire Conor McGregor. <laughs> she said, "Well, I'm more than words." Wasn't that a song with two more guys? More than words. Two guys sitting on extreme. Stream. Extreme. Yeah. yeah. Oh my extreme God. saying Which a not extreme song. They were anything but extreme. <laughs> more than words. Have you ever heard that song, Sam? No. Yes, you've you never have. heard extreme I've more heard? than words. I, I guarantee you've heard that song. I don't feel like you're really painting a great picture of it's the real adult contemporary right, right, right. pull it up all right I'll, yeah I'll yeah, yeah. It. it's extreme I mean, more you know, than words it was very popular it was by high school sweetheart it was our song really that was our song really it was probably number one uh, for a oh, yeah. good several months yeah it's a turd of a song but i loved it and all right, the I video the jimmy fallon even made a video they redid it oh god he made it okay look, here it is bring the video it up. Is simple it's two guys on the chairs it's a ballad doesn't like their song mother i don't want to go to school today i think i'll Go outside and play or something. Yeah, it's oh, really bad. Yes, I do. It, that one sounds more yeah. familiar. I don't want to go to school yeah. today. <laughs> and that it's lead singer, he actually went on to become the lead singer of Van Halen at one point. Oh, wow. What? Yeah. yeah. So After Bob, Sammy Hagar left, that? he became the lead singer I for I liked album. it. I wish I knew it. Y'all were singing y'all little hearts out. I wish I could have joined in. No, I've I don't never know that heard one. that song. Mm-mm. Well, there's it a, came out years There's a lot of YouTube videos out there where people... They, uh, for the first time ever, they listen to songs. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love that. Their reactions. It's pretty okay. fun. You should do some of those. Yeah, I should. It's, it's just a, a kid in the city listening to Led Zeppelin for the first time. And they're right. Like, <gasps> uh, what about uh, Phil Collins uh, has that one and a half minute build up? Oh, yeah. In the, the air of the night. Yeah, in the air. Yeah. Mike Tyson took it to the. Yeah, and the hangover. The hangover. Mike Tyson did that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got to do that a lot. That'd be no. fun. Yeah, I do need to do that. That sounds like a good idea. You guys got to give me some of the playlists. We'll, we'll, we'll what songs should you do? Songs from the, the 80s? 80s, maybe. What year were you born? I was born in 98. Okay. So you, you know nothing from the 80s then. I mean, I 90s. do. I know stuff like Tears for Fears and like Echo and the Bunnymen and oh, stuff good. like that. Wow. So, yeah, you know. I it, sent him Peter song. Murphy the other day. Cuts you up? Yes. Oh, yeah. That did you like that? Yeah, I did. It sounds like something I'd great? hear in Numbers on a Friday. Oh, yeah. totally. Yeah, Friday yeah, Night yeah. Numbers. Have yeah, you ever for heard sure. Morrissey? I probably have. Yes. The name sounds familiar. Uh, it, here he is. I'm so very <laughs> sorry. <laughs> that, that's not the big song. The one that they would play at Numbers is How Soon Is Now. Yeah, yeah. How Soon Is Now. Here, let me find okay. it. Girlfriend in a Coma. You've never heard that? Girlfriend in a oh Coma. Oh, my God. I know. I know. It's serious. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. What the hell? That's how we sound. Play that one real quick, right? Girlfriend in a Coma. Oh, no. I pulled this up How Soon Is Now. It's so now. cheesy. It's so cheesy. You want me to find Girlfriend in a Coma? Yeah, just because Ryan's sound. Oh man, I it sounds like Morrissey okay, though. Fine, like, fine. Girlfriend in the coma. It's only like a minute long. The song's like two minutes long. I know. <laughs> All right, here. I go. Wait, wait, one second. I gotta sit through this. I want Ryan to sing with Morrissey Skipping together. Skipping the ad in Sam. two seconds. Have you ever heard of Morrissey before, Sam? I feel like you guys have sang okay. this, and I should know. Bring it up. We get this morning that we be played Morrissey. I know, but... I know, I know, I know. What a day! Well, I'll tell you what. We are having to convene an emergency couples court session. <laughs> Uh-oh. Coming up next, I'm going to need four judges this time. So I'm going to need Sam and Kevin to join in with me and Eric. All right. And we're going to solve a very serious problem in the relationship. Couples court is next. She's in a coma. She's in a coma. I want to strangle her. No, it's serious. <laughs> next. <laughs> Need my gavel. Wait, my gavel, Sam. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> I'm building something. You're trying to steal it. <laughs> Give me back my gavel. Sorry, I had it in my so toolbox. So I'm going to have to enlist all of you guys as judges this morning. We've got Bill and Madsen standing by on the line. So good morning, guys. 
Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Morning, guys. Morning. Hey, so did they ever call you Billy? Billy Madison? Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. <laughs> Hasn't heard about that for 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, Bill's the one that messaged us on Couples Court. What's the problem? You can take the stand first. Uh, well, Madison and I, you know, we have a, a really amazing marriage. You know, we don't really argue. We get along really well. But our son just turned 18. He just graduated from high school. And, you know, he decided he wants to take a semester off from college. You know? And, uh, you know, Madison, she's not too happy about that. You know, she's decided that if he wants to take a semester off, he should be paying rent. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Is he working? He is. I mean, he's already paying for car insurance, which I think, you know, at that age, it's pretty cool. You know, it's a pretty cool responsibility to have. Was the plan for him to start here next month? You know what? I don't see anything wrong with that. I took time off b- before I jumped into college, and I think if we as a parent, Madison and I, you know, we- we're able to give him that freedom, it shouldn't be an issue, you know. What about but- Madison, though? Madison, why are you just mad at him because he's not going to college right away? So you want to punish him in a way by making him pay rent? No, it's not about punishing him. I just think he needs to realize what life is like without a college education. I'm worried he's going to take more than a semester off. It's harder to go once you stop. So you're uh, trying to scare him straight. I mean, in a way, sure. He's got to know what it's like to pay for things. He doesn't know how to do his own laundry. He refuses to do little things around the house, clean up after himself. But uh, he does have a job, though. I mean, that's pretty big. Yeah, but I understand your frustration. He's grown, living at home, and then he doesn't help clean around the house and refuses to do his own laundry. It's like this is just another step in, okay, if you're going to try and act like an adult, then you're going to be an true. adult. I just want to know, how much do you expect to charge this poor kid because Kevin has a place for him to stay. He's 18. <laughs> this poor kid, $300. Just- oh my God. That's that not- is exorbitant. Kevin's got a better deal for him. <laughs> I do. No, I don't. One bedroom at your house, shared kitchen. <laughs> it's. I mean, it sounds like he's already scratching the surface of taking responsibility for his own finances by paying his car note. Now, if you were putting him up anyway while going through college, you know, paying essentially you're paying for his dorm by housing him in your own home, then why don't you just give him the break that he's asking for, but then have an agreement to where at the end of this break, here's the deal. You will start paying rent or find your own place I like or that. go back to school. I like that. School. I really like that. Yeah, I like that. So he gets the semester off but it's with a condition that if he does not go that next semester, you're going to bill him. Yeah, but we're talking just one semester. He's not going to, you know, take a year or two or three. But, you know, moms know. Moms know their kids better than anybody, I think. And Eric is and right because he, he probably won't go back. I know a lot of people who take breaks who don't go back. Or they get stuck in that job. All of a sudden, he's like, hey, I'm making <sighs> this amount of money. But that's not always the case. I didn't go the first semester. I moved to Florida the day after high school graduation. It was a bust. I came back to Houston at the end of August, and I was not ready to go, so I didn't go that first semester. And just being on my own, working at a a crappy job, I realized I got to get a college education. But this young man has already gone to a bit of college, correct? No, he just graduated from high school. Next month was supposed to be his first month ever in college. I mean, Mm -hmm. Madison, do you like Kevin's idea that maybe just give him this one semester off? And then if he doesn't go back, then charge him? Knowing my son, I just truly think that he's not going to go and he's going to be in our house until he's 25. I can't continue to mother a grown man. Right. I get that. Madison, can I ask, were you guys going to financially help him with college? Like Kev was saying about, you know, him going to a dorm and living in the dorm life. Were you planning on financially assisting him with that? Or is he taking loans or what's he doing? Like, what is that situation? If you don't mind me asking, because then I'm curious about my opinion for him paying rent. We were going to help him out in college. Yeah could take the money and then give it back to him That's at the end exactly of the semester. That's what I was thinking. But he's probably thinking that. Yeah. I know the end, he won't get you it. You don't know that. <laughs> but that could that be thing. the incentive, though. Okay, here's the deal. You can take this semester off. You're going to pay us $300 a month. And if you go to college in the, uh, in the, the wintertime, yeah, you get, you get all that back. money back. Man, you guys are really good at this. I'm, I'm liking these options. We got a lot of kids on this show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yep. I mean, as your kid, I would hate all of these options. I yep. would not want to pay anything. A and boy's got to learn. I feel like she we've offered a viable alternative here. Madison, would you be down with that? Like, in other words, take the money, but you got to give it back to him when he starts school. I mean, I could definitely consider that. No, 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 no. It's not a consider. you got to either say yep. yes or no because we we're the, the judges. judges. <laughs> we have power today. I mean... 
yeah, I think that, yeah, we could do that for sure. There we go. All right. Chase what's close. A, what's our verdict? I don't even I'm know. Confused. The verdict he's is like he's going to but... pay the $300 a month, <laughs> but then when he goes back to school in the winter, she's going to give him all the money back. Did you mention how much his car note was? Yeah, how much is insurance. insurance? He's just insurance. paying for insurance. Okay. He's on our policy. He pays us like $90 a month for it. So $90 plus 300 Almost 400 bucks is almost gone. Almost bucks. Do you guys pay for his food and gas? If he eats at home, his food is paid for. Well, that's not a bad I, life. It's not awful. No. I couldn't afford that in college, but it's not awful. I know. I couldn't do that, but... I'm just side-eyeing it, Eric, because... Well, you grew up a privileged little I boy. I did, but did, is Eric, does Eric practice what he preaches? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. That's what this, this is striking a chord with me with you guys. That's what well, I'm how saying. many judges are there working. out there that are unethical? <laughs> <laughs> but I don't pay a dime. Thank God, because if you lived here, my son would be paying rent. All right, well there you go. There's three hundred damn dollars from the poor kid for Which the next month. Which he will get back <laughs> come Christmas time if he's enrolled. Okay, we'll good see luck, what happens. Dan. Let us know. Okay, we will. Take care, Billy Madison. Awesome. No, thank you so much, guys. All right, bye. <laughs> Take care. Bye. Case closed. I just, and college isn't for everybody. No, you don't way, necessarily you do have get to lots go. of text people. There's so many people I know. I grew up with that they're going to be retiring in a few years. Mm-hmm. They work for the, you know, they got great jobs the overtime. They're welders. They're just, they didn't, they went to they a trade to school. They did that for like Both my parents didn't go to months. college. And lots of people didn't. And Doesn't, they're doing very well. But anything, sometimes it make, leaves you worse. You're in debt. Oh, yeah. And Forever. You don't end up ever. using your skills. I think I Forever. paid my last college loan off when I was 31. I think it was 31 before I paid off all that debt. It takes yeah, a while. See, yeah, to pay all that stuff off. Mm-hmm. And just, I Pretty know. accurate. I just feel bad for people that don't go to college and they hear stuff like that. That doesn't mean you're. Well, that's fine. They, they just don't want him sponging. They don't want him sitting around, laying on the couch, not doing anything. That's true. And paying the bills. I, I almost took a break myself. You know, when I decided that the Merchant Marines were not really the direction I time off wanted then, to go, did you go straight I back did in? not. I, I just kept on going. I was like, let me just try a different major. And I think I tried hotel restaurant management because they had the Hilton uh, Hotel of uh, Ho- Hilton College of Hotel, whatever the hell it was over yeah. there. Yeah. University of <laughs> Houston. The hospitality industry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that, that turned out to be boring. So I just kept switching my major rather than leaving. I just kept trying different things. Now, I know that is that is not afforded to everyone. My parents did pay for my college, but it's okay not to know what you want to do. Now, here's what my mom did for me. She pointed out this program that gives you, it, it's, it works for, uh, you do it for like two or three days. You go in and you take little tests that um, kind of point you in the right direction. Like an aptitude in different what, fields? What you're good at. It's not It's not like a SAT test. It's more like a lifestyle skills like and lifestyle type of test. And it really painted a great picture for me. And it told me that I needed to be in something where I could be creative. And somewhere, something that I could be really myself. And, mm-hmm. you know, not a, a regular job. And... Years later, I finally got into radio, but that really helped. And there's programs here. And I think I sent you one, Eric, for your son to take a look at because oh, yeah. he was having a hard time finding his direction. But figure out. It's, it's, there's ways to find your direction out there. And so don't give up on school, but it's not for everyone. Yeah. Yep. Sometimes you got no choice in the matter. It's like you got to find a direction real fast because I was lives. paying all my own bills and I was like, I got to eat. Yep. So you can leave your comments to the Lister line. 713-278-VENT right now. Let's catch up on what's going down. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Rula and Ryan show on KRBE with what's going down, down. down. in H-Town. It is brought to you by Duncan. The Sahara, Sahara haze continues to blow through the Gulf of Mexico. It's going to get thicker and thicker. If you've got uh, sensitivities like allergies or asthma, you want to stay indoors. The thickest part of this dust is going to be on Friday should start to thin out on Saturday, and it should be pretty much gone by Sunday. Okay, so Doritos is introducing a new flavor created in part- partnership with Houston chef James Beard. Uh, actually, James Beard finalist Chris Williams. The limited edition Doritos spicy pineapple jalapeno flavor is going to be out, and uh, the new hmm. flavor is available at stores Tuesday. nationwide. Yeah, what's on that one? I would definitely I know, add. that sounds really good. Spicy pineapple jalapeno. You can get the saw- snack online at snacks.com. I thought I saw that somewhere. What color? Does it, is there a picture of the bag? What color is the bag? Yeah, I don't have a picture is of the that bag. Target? That's the way I just go. I think I was at Target. It says this it's weekend. available right now. I, mean, I think I saw Whoa, it Sunday. Oh, maybe you saw a Target. I, mean, I thought about grabbing it. I mean, you yeah, should have. Because I saw the pineapple part. I always think of salmon. It comes to like 
That's funny that they're like, doing I, it. I need to try Love chip it. like that. I need to try pineapple on a pizza sometime. Because I've been trying to tell you my signature drink so that good. I like. I like um, Kettle One Vodka with uh, pineapple juice and muddled jalapeno. You get the sweet heat. It's mm. so good. Or just the vodka would be good. <laughs> with no mixer. Yeah. Right? Just, like throw an ice cube in it. Oh, it's a black bag. <laughs> okay. Black, black and green bag. Yeah, I think I saw that at Target. I'll check it out. Pineapple Usually I just jalapeno. call them by the colors, like purple bag, yeah. red bag. We tried the purple bag, didn't we? Yes. That's Mark's favorite. What's that one? That one is um, the, oh my gosh. Sweet spicy yeah, or something like that? Yeah, sweet spicy, right? I think sweet. Sweet, sweet chili. chili. Yeah, it's sweet chili. That's good. I don't know. So the purple. Astros got a major boost yesterday when designated hitter uh, Jordan Alvarez and Jose Altuve were reinstated from the injured list. That boost didn't show yesterday. No, it didn't. The Astros won the first two games against Texas this week. And uh, congratulations, Rangers! On Twitter, you guys are acting like you won the World Series. You won one game, one crappy game. You lost two series against us now, so suck yeah, it, score suck is... it. So let's Ar- talk about Arlington food. Rangers. That don't call them Texas Rangers. You're Arlington Rangers. You're you Arlington. Say Texas because you can't say no one knows where the hell Arlington is. That's right. It's about <laughs> 25 minutes out of Dallas. <gasps> yeah. Eric is salty. Yeah, screw him. Okay. <laughs> let's talk about food. Time to bring up food wars. Now this one we're doing this week is because. Ahmad loves his gumbo. He's a mm-hmm. Louisiana boy. Yes, I was uh, born in Louisiana. My people love gumbo, even in this hot, hot summer heat. It's I like 100 up. degrees outside. You yes. want hot gumbo? Yes, I pull up to my granny's house, and she's got a bowl ready for me. So we want to know, what hot food are you still eating in the summer? Yeah, that one that maybe it's your winter food for most people, but for some reason you're rocking it right now, 105 degrees. Mm-hmm. So you don't, believe, you don't believe in seasonal foods. You just got to eat it you whenever you want it. it. Caldo. There, I, there's got to be somebody that drinks hot chocolate in the summer. Nice, like a crazy person. Big, Bowl of chili tonight. Anyone going to have yeah, that? Wait, like I that. do that all the time in the summer. I don't. You have chili in the I summer. I love to make chili. <laughs> you don't, no, Brian uh, Booster doesn't like that. No, he loves oh it because I put corn gosh. in it. <laughs> have you ever put corn in what? your chili? Well, you know how long that's going to last. Stop it. I don't want that. Stop it. Just give Food us wars. a call. 713 390 KRBE. What's something that traditionally you would not eat in the summer? But you don't care about the rules. You're just going to eat it anyhow. 713 390 5723. We'll hear from you next. Food Wars on the Rollin' Ryan Show.